Light of the World, Learning English Through the Bible, Unit A211, Copyright 2021-2022, Literacy International. Pray, Review, and Preview, Bible Reading, The Ten Plagues, Exodus chapters 5 through 10, Theme, Measurements, Pronunciation, I spelled I-G-H, O spelled O-A, Grammar, Numbers 6 through 9,000, Adverbs, A Lot, Too Much, A Little, Enough. What do you see in this picture? One measuring, two volume, three length, four height, five ruler, six half, seven whole, eight quarter, nine scale. Listen and repeat. One. Whole equals one. Whole equals one. I ate a whole tomato. I ate a whole tomato. Two. Half equals one half. Half equals one half. He ate a half of a tomato. He ate a half of a tomato. Three. Quarter equals one quarter. Quarter equals one quarter. She ate a quarter of a tomato. She ate a quarter of a tomato. Four. A ruler. A ruler. I measure paper with my ruler. I measure paper with my ruler. Listen and repeat. Five. A scale. A scale. A scale weighs things. A scale weighs things. Six. The volume. The volume. The volume of a container is how much it holds. The volume of a container is how much it holds. Seven. The width wide, the width wide. The box's width is 10 centimeters. It's 10 centimeters wide. The box's width is 10 centimeters. It's 10 centimeters wide. Eight, the length long, the length long. The box's length is 20 centimeters. It's 20 centimeters long. The box's length is 20 centimeters is 20 centimeters long. Listen and repeat. 9. The height. High, tall. The height. High, tall. His height is 115 centimeters. He's 115 centimeters tall. His height is 115 centimeters. He's 115 centimeters tall. 10. The depth, deep. The depth, deep. The root depth is three inches. It's three inches deep. The root depth is three inches. It's three inches deep. 11. To measure, to measure. He measures my height and weight. He measures my height and weight. 12. To weigh, to weigh. She weighs fruit at the market. She weighs fruit at the market. How much? A little, enough, a lot, too much. A. How much milk do you want? B. Just a little milk, that's enough. A. How much sugar does she like? B. She likes a lot of sugar, but that's too much. Listen to the numbers, then fill in all the missing words and say them all. Sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, seventy, seventy-four, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-six, eighty-seven, Listen to the numbers, then fill in the missing words and say them all. 90, 98, 99, 100, 200, 300, 1,000, 4,000, 9,000. 
units of measurement, metric, English, or imperial. One meter, 3.28 feet. One centimeter, 0.39 inches. One kilometer, 0.62 miles. One gram, 0.04 ounces. One kilogram, 2.20 pounds. One liter, 33.81 fluid ounces. One liter, 0.26 gallons. Adjective question. Noun question. Answer. For example, how deep is the river? What's its depth? It's one meter deep. How high is the mountain? What's its height? How tall is the tree? What's its height? How much does the rock weigh? What's its weight? How long is the river? What's its length? How wide is the river? What's its width? Listen and repeat. When are you going to work on your kitchen cabinets? Well, this weekend I'll measure the length, height, and depth of the old cabinets to see how much wood I need. Now, can I borrow your ruler? Of course. Are you going to finish the whole kitchen this weekend? No, I'll only take out half of the cabinets. I'll help you because I know the cabinets weigh a lot. Listen and repeat. One, I, spelled I-G-H, high, fight, light, night, right. Two, O, spelled O-A, pharaoh, boat, road, coat, soap. A, I need a light coat on the boat at night. Listen and repeat. A, hmm, hmm. Whole, scales, length, height. B. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Ruler, volume, hundred, measure. C. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> he measures a quarter, a little. She weighs it. The Ten Plagues, Exodus chapters 5 through 10. God warned Moses and Aaron that Pharaoh would be stubborn. When they went to Pharaoh, they told him, This is what the God of Israel says, Let my people go. But Pharaoh did not listen to them. Instead of letting the Israelites go free, he made them work even harder. Pharaoh kept refusing to let the people go. So God sent ten terrible plagues on Egypt. Through these plagues, God showed Pharaoh that he is more powerful than Pharaoh and all of Egypt's gods. First, God turned the Nile River into blood, but Pharaoh still did not let the Israelites go. Then God sent frogs all over Egypt. Pharaoh begged Moses to take away the frogs, but after all the frogs died, Pharaoh hardened his heart and did not let the Israelites leave Egypt. So God sent a plague of gnats. Then he sent a plague of flies. Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron and told them that if they stopped the plague, the Israelites could leave Egypt. When Moses prayed, God removed all the flies from Egypt. But Pharaoh hardened his heart and did not let the people go free. Next, God made all the Egyptians' farm animals get sick and die. But Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he did not let the Israelites go. Then God told Moses to throw ashes into the air in front of Pharaoh. When he did, the Egyptians got painful skin sores, but the Israelites did not get sores. God hardened Pharaoh's heart, and Pharaoh did not let the Israelites go. After that, God sent hail that destroyed most of the crops in Egypt and killed anybody who went outside. Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron and told them, I have sinned. 
you may go. So Moses prayed, and the hail stopped falling from the sky. But Pharaoh sinned again and hardened his heart. He did not let the Israelites go free. So God made a lot of locusts come over Egypt. These locusts ate all the crops that the hail had not destroyed. Then God sent darkness that lasted for three days. It was so dark that the Egyptians could not leave their houses, but there was light where the Israelites lived. Even after these nine plagues, Pharaoh still refused to let the Israelites go free. Since Pharaoh did not listen, God decided to send one last plague to change Pharaoh's mind. We will read about this in our next lesson. Answer the questions. 1. What did God want Pharaoh to do? 2. Why did God send plagues on Egypt? 3. What were three of the plagues you remember? 4. What happened to Pharaoh after each plague? 5. How did the plagues affect the Egyptians and Israelites? 6. Why do you think God gave Pharaoh many chances to change his mind? 7. What plagues have you seen? Hello and welcome to my show, Cooking with Joan. In tonight's program, I'm going to show you how to make a light and delicious loaf of oat bread. Here are the ingredients. You'll need to measure out one cup of boiling water, one cup of oats, a quarter ounce of dry yeast, a third cup of warm water, a quarter of a cup of honey, one tablespoon of butter, one teaspoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of cocoa. Be sure you have the right measurements. First, mix the boiling water and oats in a large bowl. Then let stand until it is only warm and not hot, about 110 degrees to 115 degrees. In a small bowl, add yeast and sugar to the third cup of warm water. Then add this to the oat mixture. Add honey, butter, salt, cocoa, and two cups flour. Mix until smooth. Add more flour to foam a soft dough. Knead the bread for about six to eight minutes. Then put it in a bowl. Make sure the bowl is big enough to fit the whole volume of dough as it rises. Cover the bowl and let the dough rise in a warm place for about an hour. Then punch the dough down so it is not too high and put it in an 8 by 4 inch loaf pan. Cover and let rise in a warm place for about 30 minutes. Bake at 350 degrees for about 55 minutes. The length of time may be different for your oven. Let the bread cool a little and finally cut it. Everyone loves this bread because it is so light. Listen and answer questions. One, what is Joan making? Two, what are three of the ingredients? Three, how much honey does she use? Four, what is the first step? Five, what kind of pan does she use? Six, how long does it bake? Seven, why does everyone love this? Role play a customer. Hello, how much do you charge to clean a swimming pool? Well, it depends on the size. Uh, what's the length? Role play B, pool cleaner. Hello, how much do you charge to clean a swimming pool? Well, it depends on the size. Uh, what's the length? Pool cleaning estimate form. A, customer name. B, pool length. C, pool width. D, pool depth. E, pool volume. F, cleaning date. Total cost at one cent per gallon. <laughs> Compels me, it's propelling me to 
1A, homework, write about the pictures. For example, one, I will measure my children's height with a ruler. 1B, homework, write about the pictures. Two, answer with full sentences. Kilogram, meter, a lot, enough, gallon, pound, feet, too much, inch, liter, a little centimeter. For example, one, how much do you weigh? I weigh about 150 pounds. Two, how much water do you drink every each day? Three, how tall are you? Four, what measurement do you use for gasoline? Five, what measurement do you use for rice or beans? Six, how long is your hair? Seven, how much sugar do you like in your tea? Eight, how much homework do you do? Nine, what is the volume of a drink bottle? Ten, what is the width of your chair? Three, write questions and ask a partner. Questions, answers. For example, one, what is your height? I am five feet four inches. Two, Half. Three. Scale. Four. Ruler. Five. Measure. Six. Length. Seven. Enough. Four. Answer and say the sentences. Mark the I and O sounds. For example, A. When do you wear a coat? I wear a coat when it's cold. B. What do you do at night? C. How high is your table? D. When do you turn on lights? E. Where do you see boats? F. How long is the road to your home? 5. Summarize the Bible lesson using your own words. For example... God wanted Pharaoh to let the Israelites go free. But Pharaoh 
so God. Then Pharaoh, so Moses, then. 6a. Homework. Choose one verse to memorize. A. Then the Lord told Moses, Go to Pharaoh and tell him that the Lord says, Let my people go to worship me. Exodus chapter 8, verse 1 from the ERV. B. And I pray that you and all God's holy people will have the power to understand the greatness of Christ's love. How wide, how long, how high, and how deep that love is. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 18 from the ERV. 6b. Homework. Choose one verse to memorize and read the next verses. C. But our Lord gave me a full measure of His grace, and with that grace came the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 14 from the ERV. Read the next lesson's Bible verses, Exodus chapter 11 verses 1 through 12 and verse 32, in your language. 7a. Read and answer the questions. The Nile River is the longest river in Africa at about 6,650 kilometers 4,130 miles long. It moves through 11 countries from Uganda to Egypt as it flows north from Lake Victoria to the Mediterranean Sea. The average depth of the river is about 30 feet and it is 1.7 miles wide at the widest point. The volume of the river changes a lot between the wet and dry seasons. The Nile has a rich history over thousands of years and is named in the Bible more than 30 times. Moses was born near the Nile and performed miracles there. Today, 95% of Egyptians still get their water from the Nile, and a lot of people depend on it for food, electricity, and transportation. Many large animals live in the Nile too, including hippopotamuses, crocodiles, and Nile perch, fish that can grow up to six feet long and weigh over 300 pounds. Many tourists visit the Nile for its wildlife and history. 7b. Answer the questions. a. Where is the Nile River? b. What are its measurements? Length, width, depth, volume. C. What animals live in the Nile? D. Why is it so important? E. What river or body of water do you like to visit? Why? 8. Homework. Writing. Share a picture and write about things that you measure. Example. I measure the length and weight of the fish I catch. 9. Homework. Now I can. I can talk about measurements and numbers. I can understand, say, read, and write the 12 vocabulary words. I can use a little, enough, a lot, too much to indicate quantity. I can understand that God punishes sin. Closing Prayer